And now, the general weather around Alaska. All right, first up, we've got on the uh, hazardous weather graphic here, wind advisory out for the eastern Alaska range uh, for 11 p.m. tonight until 11 p.m. Tuesday night. And that's for uh, gusty south winds, gusting as high as 50 to 60 miles per hour there, especially through the passes there of the eastern Alaska range. And from there, looking at satellite imagery, one system moving out of the panhandle into western Canada. So some uh, diminishing and ending showers with some clearing showing up there this afternoon along the southeast coast. Next system pushing rapidly eastward here with the uh, cloudiness and rain into Kodiak Island. Southern Cook Inlet, Seward, some light rain, and uh, clouds mainly over south central Alaska today. With quite an area of rain back here over the southwest interior areas, but uh, some clearing there around the central interior. Fairbanks, also for the North Slope area, had some sunshine today. Lots of clouds here, main low center back out over the uh, Bering Sea here, and uh, rolling that through. Actually, kind of a center tracking northeastward here and then a trough extending back down toward the southwest there. And the uh, higher clouds pushing into uh, the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island on up to the Kenai Peninsula. On the surface here, the low pressure area, right about in this location, just south of St. Matthew Island, and the front pushing into the southwest interior, bringing some uh, pretty good rain and winds with it uh, along the coastline there in the uh, exposed areas. Seeing winds gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour today with half an inch of rain falling at both Marshall and St. Mary's today with uh, Cape Romanzov picking up one and a third inches of precipitation. Rain and gusty winds up across Norton Sound to Nome seeing rain with gusts of 35 miles an hour out of the east this afternoon. And rain, light rain into Kodiak Island, light rain up to Homer into Kamishak Bay and then Seward kind of a trough right through here producing some scattered showers there in the Prince William Sound area and back up into possibly the Copper River Basin, but pretty scattered amounts here, lingering showers. Never quite ended here over the eastern interior. And for the southeast coast, seeing some clearing and drying showing up there with a much drier day than what you had yesterday. And the uh, sunshine, central interior, very nice day, Arctic coast into the uh, Brooks Range. For tonight, tra this low tracks eastward, widespread area of rain now, Southern slopes of the Brooks Range all the way down into Bristol Bay and then back into the central Aleutians with possible gale force winds here as that trough rotates in toward uh, Adak and Atka. But uh, less wind for the Pribilof Islands, slacker gradient there, but stays wet. Periods of rain continue there, fog, low clouds, IFR. Rain and wind on the increase here for south central Alaska into the uh, at least the western North Gulf Coast. Higher pressure moving across the panel. Look for a dry overnight period with uh, light winds. And back to the west, higher pressure, or actually more of a lack of storminess, making for drier uh, conditions with lighter winds out in that area. Then on Tuesday, next system shows up here pushing some light rain into Shimmy and Attu. In the late afternoon Tuesday, maybe some clearing. Adak and Atka could be partly to mostly sunny there and that'll try to push in toward the Pribilof Islands after some morning showers there in that area. Gusty northwest winds here, continue wet conditions across the Alaska Peninsula. All of southern Alaska here with this uh, low, weakening low over the Kuskokwim Delta and that front extending across in toward Yakutat or just southwest of Yakutat in the afternoon. That'll push rain into at least the northern, possibly central southeast coast as far south as Port Alexander and look for periods of rain here across all of southern Alaska, right up to the Alaska Range, and even farther here back to the west into the uh, lower Yukon River Valley area, showers for the Seward Peninsula area, and pretty gusty winds there, possibly for the Copper River Basin areas uh, <clears throat> for tomorrow. And then this front up here to the north on uh, Wednesday, drops down, brings uh, some increasing chances of rain and snow to the central and western Arctic coast down into the western Brooks Range, western North Slope area. Otherwise, uh, mostly cloudy, scattered showers over the interior. Wet conditions continue, rain and showers uh, with cloudy skies. All of south central Alaska and the North Gulf Coast right into the panhandle. Rain changing to showers around Kodiak Island though with a more drier westerly flow. 
Drier conditions here now over the Bar northern Bering Sea with a rain-free day, possibly, probably, for uh, the Seward Peninsula area, maybe into the Yukon Delta, just some isolated showers over toward the Kuskokwim Mountains. Next system bringing more rain and wind eastward along the Aleutian Chain, pushing into the Fox Islands. And for the lows tonight, upper 30s and into the 40s for much of interior Alaska, closer to 50 down towards south central Alaska, Kodiak Island, 40s for the Aleutians and the Bering Sea, 40s and lower 50s for the southeast coast. Highs tomorrow, well into the 60s, Yukon Flats, 65 to 70 up that way, otherwise uh, 60 to 65 for the Tanana Valley, 50s everywhere else, 60 all the way up to the Arctic coast there, and for the lows, on Wednesday morning, upper 30s and lower 40s for the Arctic coast. Otherwise, everybody else mostly in the 40s. Panhandle could see some lower 50s. And for the highs, Wednesday afternoon, in the 50s to mid-60s for the southeast coast. And a little cooler now over the eastern interior, 55 to 62. Upper 50s to near 60 back to the west. And then 40s for the Bering Sea. 50s for the Aleutians near 60 Kodiak Island and 55 to 60, possibly for the eastern north slope, otherwise 40s along the Arctic coast.